Hi, I'm Liza Compass, and I'm one of the artists that was selected to paint a mermaid for the Mermaid Tail Trail. Well, I've been creating art my entire life, probably like just about everybody involved in this project. Art has always been what I am. It's what I love to do, and it's an incredibly huge part of my life. Um, I was self-taught as an artist up until the time I went to college and I actually did study art when I went to university. I went to the University of Tampa, um, but ironically after I left university I never pursued an art career. I was really disillusioned with the art world in general and if I'm being completely honest probably took myself just a little bit too seriously um, as far as subject matter and making sure that everything fit a particular mold of what art should be and what my professors and my colleagues thought that art should be and I got really really depressed so I stopped making art completely for several years and didn't get back into doing art again fully until about 2019 but the difference is when I started art again I genuinely did it for me I didn't necessarily do it with the point of view of oh I'm going to be a serious artist but it would be nice if I could make some money doing this well, fast forward to now, I am a full-time artist because when 2020 happened, I had no other choice. I got laid off from my job and I was like, you know, there's no better time than now to start trying to do what I really want to do in life. Um, so I started a company, opened my company's bank account literally three days before I got laid off. And I was like, it's a sign from the universe. I have to do this now. And I'm glad to say I've never looked back and this is what I do for a living. I get to travel the country and I mostly draw, ironically enough. I know this mermaid is painted, of course, but most of what I do is in colored pencil and pen and ink right now. But I love to do oil paintings. Um, I dabble in watercolor. I do some acrylics. Basically, if it's a two dimensional piece of work or medium, I've probably done it. Um, but really, I just try to do things that are true to me and are full of color and whimsy and life. If you wanted to peg me into a category, I guess you could call me a surrealist because so much of what I do is inspired by dreams that I have and just um, a better, brighter world that I want to manifest out into reality, if that makes sense. So my mermaid's name is Alice, and I came up with that name because while I was working on her, I'm like, I think she belongs almost in the tea party in Alice in Wonderland. And you'll probably see why, because the entire inspiration of her is very girly, it's very fun, and it's based on a series of drawings that I've done that have been lovingly nicknamed my manatee party pieces because they're a bunch of manatees dressed up in girly headdresses made out of seaweed and clams and you know other bits and bobbles you might find on the seafloor. And they're just done up to look like these lovely ladies who lunch. And I just, I get a huge kick out of that series I absolutely love it and the beautiful part about that too is while I get to travel the country in areas of the country that are nowhere close to here and don't have mermaids at all that's always the piece that usually resonates with people the most and it reminds them of that time they got to visit Florida and swim with the manatees or come to an area like this or visit Wikiwachi and as a native Floridian who grew up here I, I love sharing those stories of our local wildlife and our local flora as well um, so I think it's really beautiful when people can connect with that as well. So when I was coming up with an idea for this mermaid, I was like, it has to be a manatee party. That's become almost a signature of mine. And I'm so incredibly happy with the way that it turned out. I am so excited for all of you guys to travel Hernando County and see all of the mermaids where they land at their final destinations. My mermaid is going to be at Pan Banged Knits and Fiber Shop in downtown Brooksville and I'm so grateful to them for sponsoring my mermaid. Um, Alice was such a perfect concept for their shop from the knit gloves that I put on her to just all of the beautiful color and girly whimsy that I was able to interlace throughout my design. A lot of that is inspired directly by the shop itself. So I'm so excited for you guys to see the finished product. So be sure to come out and check out the tail trail.